I know you have some people that be like, I'm thankful all year round. We don't got to wait till Thanksgiving come to be thankful. Okay, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the people like me. And as the holiday draws near and you look out into this world and you see everything that's going on, I, we become more thankful at that moment. If that makes sense to those people that are a little bit like me. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, the Soren Seward family. I'm Ivy and thank you for joining me for another Friday mommy moment with me. If you're new here, please know that you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload a video. I am so excited that you guys are here and you already know what we're about to jump into. Friday shout outs. Let's go. Today's shout out is going to our mom and dad. Well, they're my husband's parents, but I actually stole them. So they're my mom and dad. And Thanksgiving is coming, you guys. And we truly miss them so much. So mom and dad, we wish that you would just move to Texas. <laughs> That's what we are praying for. That is our heart's desire to have our mom and dad move here to Texas so we don't have to keep living without them. Yes, FaceTime and calls and texts and pictures and stuff like that works, but when you have been with somebody, um, well, Danzy, he's been with them his whole life. They're his parents. But for the last 14 years, when you go to just being around someone every single week, every single holiday, every single birthday, it's just... You know, no matter how great life here is in Texas, it's not great if they're not here with us. So mom and dad, today's shout out is going to you. We love you guys. We miss you guys so, so, so very much. And home is where the heart is. So y'all get on down here to Texas because in our hearts, we home and we want y'all here with us. So we love you so much. All right, you guys, let's get into this Friday mommy moment topic. You ready? You ready? Y'all already know what I'm gonna say. Grab your coffee, your beverages, whatever it is that you need to enjoy this time with me. Sit back, relax, and let's chat. Let's go, y'all. I say go ahead and get you, go get your beverage. I, I got mine. Go ahead and get. You, I'm gonna click this off, and when I come back, you guys have your stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. First, let me say happy Thanksgiving to everyone who celebrates the holiday. Thanksgiving is coming and this will be the last Friday mommy moment before it comes. So let me just get that out the way and say happy Thanksgiving. Now, with Thanksgiving being in the air, I want to take some time to let you guys know that I am thankful for you. I am thankful for everything that God has blessed me with. I know you have some people that be like, I'm thankful all year round. We don't gotta wait till Thanksgiving come to be thankful. Okay. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the people like me that knows that we are thankful daily, but we tend to really think about it. And as the holiday draws near and you look out into this world and you see everything that's going on, I, we become more thankful at that moment. If that makes sense to those people that are a little bit like me. So with that being said, Think about everything that you have right now, not everything that you don't have. We all, sometimes we can pray for something and we get that and then after we get that, we start thinking about the other things that we don't have. So sit at this time right now and I want you to think about everything that you do have, everything that you prayed for and you received. Your home, your car, your funds, your life, your health, your children, 
your family. Think about the things that's important to you, that you're thankful for. I know that life isn't perfect, you guys. I know that every situation is not perfect. My life is not perfect. Your life is not perfect. We are all going through things. And some things we're like, why would I be thankful for that? I don't want to be thankful for that. This sucks. This stinks. But there's so much more in our life that we can be thankful for if we push that void out the way. I want to be thankful and I want God to know that each day that he gives me, I am thankful for my health. I'm thankful for the energy that I have. And I know my body is not in perfect condition, but I'm thankful for my eyesight. I'm thankful for my nose, my ears, my hands, my body, to be able to go to the bathroom on my own, to be able to walk. I am so thankful for that. And every day I take it for granted. Every single day, I take God's blessings for granted. And I feel like sometimes I'm not thankful enough. It's like I forget about them. I forget that we have a vehicle. I remember when we didn't have no vehicle, my friends used to give me rides back and forth to work. Think about being thankful for the vehicles that we do have. We have two vehicles. I remember when we had no vehicle and children and it was cold and we're walking and we're trying to figure out how we're gonna get to the grocery store because the grocery store wasn't just like right up the street. I remember those days and, and I'm thankful for those days because it makes me even more grateful for the things that I have right now. I remember being pregnant with the twins and we lived all the way on the third floor of this apartment building. Three days a week I had to go to the cancer center so I could get blood stuff done. It's We're not gonna discuss that. But I had to go to the cancer center and I had to go there pregnant, okay? And um, it was really, really, scary for me it was really really trying for me and not only that after i did that, i had to go all the way back up those three flights of stairs i'm thankful that everything worked out and i'm thankful that i'm no longer going through that anymore as we enter into thanksgiving there's a lot of people that are getting ready to go to thanksgiving and some of their loved ones that they were just with last year are no longer here be thankful for the people that are in your life be thankful for the things that are in your life because in a year, things can change. So take this time as we enter into the holiday of Thanksgiving to just look at the people in your life, look at the things you have and say, God, thank you. All right, you guys, I hope that I was able to plant a seed of Thanksgiving and give you some things to think about just so you are just reminded of all of the great blessings that you have in your life. And no matter what your struggle is, be thankful for what you do have. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, please know that here at the Soren Seabrooks Family Channel, we want you to always know that you are needed. All right, you guys, happy Thanksgiving. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving. Love you. Peace out.